long as you have good company, the drink's going to be good. As long as you have unique syrups, it's going to be even better. <laughs>
I'm smart at what I do. I know what I want to do, and I go for it. So since they like that, they invest in me. Um, I have to say to them. Um, another company that I'm very, very proud for is Sebeka. Mm -hmm. Sebeka did my first one in Atlanta. They believed in me first out of all the some of the big brands that I've touched. Um, I have to say Duce. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm very proud of Duce. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I did some cycle things. <laughs> I really did some cycle things, you know. I went into, um, it's funny, when I first started this tour, you know, getting into it, I want to do say. I was like, I was very adamant about getting do say. I was like, I want them. So I sent them a message, you know, to this gentleman named Stokey on Instagram. He flew down to Atlanta. He met up with me. He tasted my product. He loved the product. You know, then he's like, well, you got to wait. You know, because um, they were on the run tour. So since Duce wasn't in the office, they weren't in the office for to even really talk to me. And so then I reached out to a gentleman named Emory Jones, uh, which is Stokey's best friend, which is Jay-Z's best friend. Mm -hmm. So I reached out to him, and he gave me his email. But then somehow, someway, God makes miracles happen because I was at the the whiskey bar and for some strange reason I met the guy who actually makes the decision for Duce mm. and when I called Stokey I was like I met this he's like that's the guy you need to talk to <laughs> you know so you know I sent the proposal I texted him first the same day I sent the proposal he probably thought I was crazy and then uh, I probably did some things I went down there <clears throat> I gave a false name in the beginning oh my god <laughs> hey, you know what it is, what it is. You got to do what you got to do. You do got to do what you got to do, you know. But I'm, nobody's going to hand it to you. Nobody's going to hand it to you. You got to act crazier than your competition. Or you got to act crazier than the people that you want to do business with, you know. When you say I'm crazy, I say thank you because it means I'm doing something. Mm -hmm. So I went down there, you know, try to say, you know, kind of I was on the list, you know. The lady wanted to act like a jerk. So then, you know, I'm sitting outside and I'm scrolling through my phone, looking at Rock Nation's number. I just kept scrolling. I was going everywhere looking for it. Finally got it, looked for it, like the hour after finding it, call up there. And she's like, are you the gentleman just called over? I said, nope. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, um, can you give my proposal to such and such? She's like, well, we're not taking it right now. So I was like, uh, this is before I met him in the whiskey bar. Mm -hmm. See, I went up to Rock Nation, tried to go to Rock Nation office before the whiskey bar. And then like the next day, I met him at the whiskey bar. It was just crazy. Like, like God do everything for a reason. Like I go in there that day to try to do something. And then the next day he blessed me with the person that I needed. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So. Everything happens. Yeah. So where do you see your business going, you know, in the next, you know, few um, years or even this year? You have any big plans other than your next tour? I have the tour. Um, I'm about to partner up with a company in Atlanta. They they do concerts. That's what um, he works for. Um, Vibe magazine. The one of the gentlemen that own this company works for Vibe magazine. Okay. But uh, I'm about to do an event with them. But my biggest thing is bringing awareness to my brand, but more so me. This year, I'm very, I'm really focused on me. I wanted to help everybody, and that's just me. You know, I came from a background where I was abused. So since I was abused, you know, I had nearly four death experience. So I, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see, I didn't see death, but also I've seen life, and I didn't see, I didn't see given, you know, by the parents that adopt me. I have seen everything possible that a human can see, but more money. <laughs> but more money, but more money, you know, but it's gonna, it's gonna get there. It's gonna get there in due time, because the people that are loyal, it's just, it comes a slow process, but it lasts longer. It's like old money. People that are loyal become old money. And that's what I want, I want to become old money. I want uh, Unique Syrups to become an international brand, you know. I want Unique Syrups to be attached to every freaking alcohol. I want every alcohol company to call me and say, we need this brand attached on the side. That's, that's what I want. That's what I want. 
And then after that, I'm going to sell it. And then I'm going to sit back for the rest of my years and, and grow old and with my kids. That's all I want. I just want my family. I'm a, I'm a family man. I love my kids. So that's all I want. I don't want all the traveling. I don't want all that. I just want my family. I want to make my money. I want to sell it. And I want to chill. But yeah. It seems like you're on the right path. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a process. It's a process. <laughs> But it's, it's good. It's a good process, you know. Uh, it's a lot of days I want to quit. You know, it's a lot of days I want to quit. Uh, a lot of days I cry. It's a lot of days like, dang, this gets hard. Because, you know, you when you're a one-person show, it's like nobody really trusts you or nobody really believes in you, you know. But I don't know why it's like this, but when you have multiple people that work for you, more people tend to believe you. But when you don't, then it's like they scared you. Because they feel like, you know, if this man that powerful mind-wise to do this by himself, I mean, even though we can't do everything by ourselves, you know, success does have a help book. But it takes you. You you can only stop you. It takes you to do 95% of the work. And, you know, when you're crazy with the work, People look at you like you're crazy. They really do like look at you like you're crazy, you know? I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it is what it is. I love it. You know, I don't regret anything that I did out of life. Um, probably regret some of the chances that I took, but I don't regret the chances that I took after I took those chances. Well, I appreciate you joining us today. Is there anything, any last words you would like to add? Well, I, I want to make y'all a drink. <laughs> So I got premise, I did an ounce and a half, and I got unique syrup, I got lemon ginger syrup. About two ounces. I turned the lemon ginger syrup to a lemonade. And I add a little bit of chipotle honey to it. Do the stir it. That's my baby. That that syrup does so many miracles. Mm -hmm. Like it literally does. Because like I told you, it comes out. One day about my syrups, I won't say it. But one day on my syrups, I have it uh, structured to it don't get you sick. Yeah, I have it structured. You know, I'm a chemist. So I am a real live chef chemist. Like I study food. Like I study food. And I know the chemistry, I know what overpowers what, what balances out what, what don't make you sick, what makes you less uh, nauseating, you know what I'm saying, what don't give you hangovers. You know, a lot of people that have drunk my stuff and never got a hangover. You know, you get majority hangers not because of the alcohol, but because of the sugar that's put in the alcohol. You know? That's good to know. Yes, yes. I'm glad you enjoyed I appreciate this. it. I think I'm going to Okay, <laughs> all right, finish that. Finish that. All right, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. <laughs>